Andreas, can you tell me a little bit about endoscopic retrograde cholangiopancreatography, or ERCP? So ERCP, it's a test that we do nowadays for therapeutic purposes, which means the patients frequently are referred to us or the patients that we have seen in our clinic with certain complaint. We have done some type of imaging study that it's a non-invasive imaging study, and we found a problem either in the pancreas or in the biliary tract meaning the ducts that connect the liver, cystic duct from the gallbladder, and everything draining down into the duodenum, as we just saw in our videos. And uh, we basically bring the patients to do the procedure, the ERCP, in our endoscopy units. We bring these patients with something in mind. We bring these patients with a finding that we see, that we saw, in a previous imaging study. And again, it's a therapeutic procedure. We go knowing that we're gonna take a biopsy, that we're gonna remove a stone. This may be in the pancreas side, this may be in the bile duct side. We know that unfortunately the patient may have a tumor creating an obstruction. So we can go and take samples, we can bypass the obstruction by putting stents. When it comes to the pancreas, we frequently put stents, we remove stones, depending on the underlying condition. And again, every patient is different, and we're doing this for therapeutic purposes. I think that it has clearly taken a role as therapeutic. We have many different modalities now that can make the diagnosis that can lead us to doing an ERCP. And therefore, we should rarely use this as a diagnostic procedure any longer. Most of the information that we can obtain are from additional imaging studies that we'll have in our armamentarium. I think it's a monster application for those cases that need to have some therapy of the bile duct. And as you said, whether it's placing a stent, removing a stone, bypassing an obstruction in the uh, pancreatic duct or the bile duct. So it's a, it's a great uh, opportunity for us to intervene in our patient's health.